and welcome back to the Rainfish 7 YouTube channel again. Uh, this is actually day two. Uh, I'm going to try and edit all this together and get to where we're at. But we do have the micro squirt hooked up. We have the VR sensor running down to the stock VR sensor. The coax is grounded out through sensor ground to uh, pull noise out of it. We'll get that more formalized eventually. This is going to share a few sensors. We got power, two grounds to battery. These will wind up going to the engine to eliminate noise as well. Uh, I've learned a few things, I've fought a few things, and that's what we're going to go through in this video. Alright guys, and here is where we're at. This is our basic table setup. Uh, idle is 1200, so it thinks it's at wide open throttle. I have it set up further down for a better ignition timing, but whatever. 19 degrees will be fine at idle, it actually would be 1500. Is where I had it set at the other day so I set it at the 21 22 21 6 seemed smooth really well and we're working all the way up to you know 38 degrees and it'll hold steady at 38 pretty much the rest of the time because this table doesn't go wide enough I still need to modify it I built it before I realized I had it set for a 6,000 rpm limit it's actually really similar to the stock table that came with the dang thing so we've gone up here and we've gone to Ignition settings, ignition options. And we're set up on a tooth wheel, four skip pulses, a rising edge, going high, wasted spark, of course, uh, ignition output, ignition one. We also have ignition two for the other side. Uh, trigger wheel teeth, 36, missing teeth one, 90 degree offset for top dead center. And right now I have it on fixed timing. We're going to change that to use table. And that'll make sure it uses the table when I go to fire it up first time. I got my dwell at 3.1. That's roughly what I figure it's going to be. we got to check it. Figure out where it's going to be, but it'll be okay. Burn that. Close. All right, we've gone up here to basic settings. Rev limiter. I got a hard rev limit at 10,000. Uh, soft limit zone is 100 RPM. That's going to be a bit aggressive. I'll probably play with that. I'm probably going to drop this to like 9,800. And bring that up to two or three hundred. Uh, yeah, and I added on a spark progressive retard because I'm not going to be running fuel. Uh, and of course, me being me, I had to get playing here. So we have launch control set up, grounding the flex input will set me a 4,000 RPM launch control with a 200 RPM soft limit zone, soft limit retard of one degree. That was not the right slot. Yep, that was not supposed to be one degree. That is supposed to be minus 10. <laughs> so we get some pops and bangs to play with. That was the flat shift I had set up down here. I did not want that at negative 10. I want that at 1.0. <laughs> So we got that burned. And then of course we got even more playful because I don't I didn't realize I bought this. It has nitrous control. So we got nitrous control enabled. 6500 RPM window switch with coolant temp over 150, 80% or better throttle. The enable input is spare sp spare ADC2. So that'll have to be grounded. The output pins for stage one is F I F idle and W L E D is output two. We can play with all this, but we're gonna go with that. Uh, I have no additional fueling because I'm running a wet shot and an RPM max limit of ten thousand. I need to drop that actually to ninety eight hundred. Damn it, ninety eight hundred. There we go. Burn. We do not have a second stage set up. I don't need a second stage. And uh, ignition retard is 10 degrees. Uh, we'll see how much we go after that. Uh, after launch control, I have a nitrous delay of one second. I want it to come in just as I'm getting out of the 60 foot. Other than that, we really haven't done a whole lot. Uh, let's show you my ignition table a little. 
prettier if you guys would like. Dun, 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 dun. So that's my rough ignition table. It's pretty much just standing up and going. That's all there really is to it. But yeah, other than that, the biggest struggle was fighting with a lot of headaches. I had my VR sensor signal backwards, I had my air gap wrong, and I was going off the wrong edge on the tooth. So now we are at a wonderful, just short of 300 RPM cranking. Perfect. And I did a really wide yellow mark there because I wanted to know where my nitrous was going to come in. <laughs> I'll have all this gauged up on my phone as soon as my Bluetooth adapter gets here. Yee yee. Well guys, thanks for sticking in there. Uh, I know the videos have been a little far between. Uh, we're going to be about a week waiting on the Bosch 211 igniter. Uh, the micro squirt uses a 5 volt pulsed signal to activate the coils. My coils use a grounded signal. So I need an igniter. Uh, we'll get that igniter in. I'll stick it on a heat sink and wire it up to two channels instead of four. And we'll get her rocking. Uh, I'm excited to see what that launch control does. Uh, I want to test out the nitrous but not actually on nitrous once I get it set up and mounted I'm going to set it up to a light bulb of on the dash so I can go out and rip it a couple times and just tag the nitrous line and the red line and see if it hits and cuts and then uh, do a couple little baby test launches try not to flip over and uh, see if the light comes on a second after everything works the way it should be we'll continue on to setting up fuel injection in March for now, we'll be building mounts for everything to put the fuel injection in and getting everything buttoned up. So that's the next video we'll be watching is hopefully starting this thing up. Have a beautiful evening, guys. Thanks for watching.